Hi there folks, Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts and for TracyMatt.co.uk and I'm having a look at ZTE Blade L2. My budget phones do seem to be dime a dozen at the moment um, with good quality ones coming out almost every week. So uh, ZTE are no stranger to doing good budget phones. This one is of particular interest due to the actual screen on here. Uh, just having a look around the box, there's nothing, just a few links there for you to follow. Uh, ZTE, and on the back here we have a uh, display is a 5 inch FWVGA, it's got a 5 megapixel camera on there, Bluetooth 3.0, wireless GPS, WAP, WAP, okay. Um, processor is 1.3 gigahertz quad core, 4 gigabytes of ROM, ugh, and 1 gigabyte of RAM. What's included? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? And see him on this side with those little links down there. Now, I'll be cheeky here and say that I've already taken this device out just to have a quick look at it because I was curious to see the build quality and I like it. Here's the device. What else do we get in here? We get a little set of headphones that say gift on them. Oh, hi, nice. ZTE, um, fairly decent looking headphones. I'm sure the sound quality isn't terrific, but better than nothing. And there we go with a micro USB cable, it's a screen protector, and a little manual here for giggles. And finally, we have this was what they sent the last time as well. As ZT seemed to be quite favourable of these little plugs. Um, however, I do think that they're quite slow at charging, so they're maybe not as as good as what we would expect from Samsung. Okay, so this is the device. This is a big 5-inch screen. It's got a little dust on it. It doesn't have any dust on it anymore. And if we have a quick look around it, as soon as the focus focuses, there we go. We've got uh, some sensors at the top here. That must be the front-facing camera. Then we have the loudspeaker up there. On the top we have a 35 millimeter headphone socket. This stuff out of the way it generally causes problems with the focus. On the side, got a volume rocker just here, and nothing else down there. It's a bit of a scuff there. Then on the bottom, we have a micro USB connector and a microphone. We have the power button on this side with nothing else along there. And then at the bottom here we have back button, home button, and menu. Whoops. And on here we have a 5 megapixel camera, LED flash, ZTE banding, and an external speaker. It's nice. It is. It's, it's a good device. It's very familiar of every other slab on the market, but it it's weighted quite well. The battery's built in here, and I believe... You, ah, yes, I did see this. Well, obviously, you have to be able to open it to get into the SIM card tray. There we go. And it's a non-removable battery, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, Virgin have very kindly put a SIM in this for me. SD card. Well, it's a full-size SIM, obviously. Uh, nothing there. No wireless charging or anything like that on here. A little badge there to say ZTE. It must be the waterproof marking. There's a, a hair sticking out there that's bothering me. Does that belong to you? If so, do you want it back? Then there's the grill there. Little port there. Other than that, there's not too much else to report. Fairly simple plastic case. This is £90, remember, and to be honest, I'm quite impressed with it so far. We'll turn her on and see what happens we do, we get some power out of it. ZTE powered by Android. Flashy ZTE logo. It's important to point out that ZTE are one of our favourite companies at the moment. Um, they have been producing relatively high quality products for a limited price tag, which uh, we really do like. A lot of other companies are I, I would even go as far to say some of the bigger companies are producing lesser quality devices than this for half the price or for twice the price. Okay, we're just going to log into Wi-Fi here. And we have Wi-Fi. The screen is a bit dim at the moment, but it could be the the lights here. We'll not bother with the Google account just yet. Ding. 
Okay, uh, it's touch P, touch pad. Okay, this device uses your name to personalize some of the apps. So I'm going to put my name in here. Okay, it's asking me what size I want the keyboard to be. Small. Well, I'm candidate A, so I must have some kind of uh, text or touch pal um, text input through handwriting. This tutorial is to help you understand how to use the keyboard. I will go with it now, why not? Okay, so touchpad tutorial, tips for typing, touchpad curve, sliding input, delete entire word easily, filter word quickly, and free write in pinion. Okay, so tips for typing. typing. Let's slide up for number two. Slide down for symbols. Slide right to enable prediction. Long press this button for emotions. Oh, I hit an X now. Okay, right, so you don't actually do anything. You just sit and watch. Are you riveted? I certainly am. Oh, great, the prediction bit again. Loved that part. There we go, there's the emotions. That means we're at the end, right? Right. Okay, so we've got sliding input as well. Or he's typing what. Press space to input the recommended word. Lovely. You know, to be entirely honest, this is actually quite a nice little piece of software to have on such a cheap phone. It just it, it adds that little more attraction. While some people may not use it, some people will. You know, this way you don't have to go out and buy a Swift Key or a Slideboard or any of those uh, keyboards. It's already here for you. There's some uh, nice Chinese symbols for you. Is it? That's all done. We'll just put in my name. Okay, make yourself at home. Okay, we have a bit of an overlay, or they could just be widgets. Doesn't look too bad. We've got some virgin bloat on there. Organize your apps and folders. That's typical. Smart call, simple Wi-Fi on my account. Camera. Let's take a picture of this. Hello there. Well, it's quite quick. Well, I did get my finger in the way there. I suppose it can happen. Right, uh, what do we have in the way of extra special software on here? We've got a different looking calculator that looks exactly the same. Uh, email looks different, but it's exactly the same. FM radio included, which is something I was quite annoyed that <laughs> using an iPhone recently that it didn't have a Wi Fi radio. Kingsoft Office. There we go, we've got a full Office client there as well. Documents, folders, cloud storage, share play. Okay. Uh, messaging, music, Virgin account, navigation, notepad. Uh, people, phone. Oh, that's annoying. People's not contacts, is it? No. <laughs> okay. SIM card toolkit, system updates, ZT user manual, uh, built in torch. Wah hey. Boop. Boop. Awesome. You don't get that terribly often, although it's very easy to get from Google Play, I suppose. So. 
uh, touchpad keyboard that must take us through that uh, training before no you can change the skin add words and I wish, wish I clicked on wonders instead that sounds more interesting what are wonders touchpad contacts UC browser dolphin browser okay it's just recommended applications Uh, wireless input device and YouTube. We've got a message there. Handy, handy. Simple Wi Fi is a free app. I can automatically connect your smartphone to the best Wi Fi signal possible. I think Android has that built into it anyway. App permission. I'll turn that on. Okay, well, um, it's a the, the, what was the processor in it? It was a quad core 1.3 gigahertz, so it should be fairly speedy with a, with a, a gig of RAM in it. A lot of these devices around this price point uh, with a four gigabyte ROM, you generally find half a gig of RAM. Some of them have 512. Uh, KitKat, which this is running, does do quite well on half a gig of RAM, so it should do quite well on a full gig of RAM especially on this wee device, so it's running Android 4.2.2 oh right okay, so it's a wee bit dated then um, hopefully there is an update go on then no, pants, there isn't okay well at any rate, uh, we'll try and get a review up fairly soon we've got another message from Canal 50 oh, I look forward to finding out what that's all about and uh, that's the ZTE Blade L2. I like it. I do. I, I think that's quite a nice phone for 90 quid. That's You could do a lot worse. Do a lot worse. Alright. Well, that's it. Take care now.